Greetings all praise King Selassie. Speaking again about the smartphone. You know, I hope it doesn't seem like an obsession. Um, but I look around and I see the people aren't really taking notice of what's going on. Um, and I speak with people, you know, even friends that don't really know. And people that know me, they know when they come in my house, they take that phone outside, shut that phone off. I know I'm not the only one. You know, there's, there was people, uh, you know, like for example, at those um, protests, you know, that, that don't want that phone around them because they know of its capabilities, and it's it's pretty obvious. You know, when you go to jail, they got that little income with the button. You're supposed to press it if you need something. Um, it it don't work for you. It work them that's just the two way they obviously listen to what you say in that jail cell uh, many many people have been convicted uh, because of this uh, but it's it's so secretive that like it's not common knowledge uh, you know the expression you know walls can hear the walls have ears so even when you tell people this it's just like it doesn't they, they just don't it's not seeping in, but like if you had the COs in the jail cell, then the people probably wouldn't say the same things they said. So Babylon knows when they're behind the scenes and people don't know they're there, they act like they're not there. Just, I guess people have been conditioned just not to think. Um, so this phone has that capability. So you might be around somebody and having just general conversation, whatever, about yourself, well that phone's recording what you're saying and somebody's looking to incriminate you. Now it wouldn't be so bad if like all people were subject to the same scrutiny. But people are being targeted. Um, you know, Babylon never takes down their own. Only for publicity stunts. Those people never do real time. The Jeffrey Epstein's and they got islands and penthouses and they're you know shacking up with, with children because people are living in such poverty that people are willing to sell out their children to buy out. Um, you know, you do a year, whatever, but that's only because there were witnesses. You know, the state wouldn't have prosecuted these people if there weren't witnesses. But there's overwhelming, ev overwhelming evidence and there's prominent people in positions to expose these things. So, you know, it's a catch-22. Look. The Babylonians want to believe that they're doing what's right, okay? They don't want to take, 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 take and feel like, you know, that they're, they're crooks. Um, they want to take, take, take and feel like they deserve it, like they've earned it. So, you know, there are people out there that, that at times make <clears throat> decent decisions. It doesn't mean that they represent righteousness. They still work for the same Hypocrisy. And, and now what's happened is, you know, these folks have so much power. They already had the advantage and now they have more advantage because of these devices. Someone asked me, you know, recently, what's the difference between this, the smartphone and a computer? Was well, the computer hooked up to the internet? Does the computer have Wi-Fi capability? If not, then there's a difference. The computer can't be access, accessed externally, at least not by, you know, average people. So, you know, there, there, there has to be external measures taken to, or rather, there has to be additional measures taken, you know, to, to be able to you know, perpetrate that device. Um, however, the smartphones, it's like, psh, psh, psh. even when, um, the sheriff in this town had been on the, the, uh, the national pedophile radio and, and sp speaking it on behalf of being able to confiscate phones and go through them. You know, the, 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 the pedophile radio asked, you know, what about the password? And they said, oh, we'll worry about that. Because they have backdoor access. It's given through the private companies because these are the bodyguards of private people, people that choose to live 
in secret and hide all their, their wealth for a good reason. So this, these devices give the advantage to the oppressor. Now who would want that? None other than the oppressor. And if you do, then you are working for the oppressor. We're told about the mark beast. It's going to come in the form of a chip. Makes sense. It's a bed in your body. You can't get rid of it. RFID track you everywhere you go. Uh, all your your physiological body impulses and everything's recorded, monitored. You know, people are going to pay more. We're, we're becoming more and more servants of the oppressor. Um, it's evident because, like for example, yesterday was the 26th of December, and you hear people running around bustling at me early in the morning because they're trying to get to work, trying to make up for this money they lost. You know, it seems like really who has time anymore for family and, and things that people once cherished uh, and held as, as value, valuable. Uh, now, uh, people are subject to demand that they have to get, get, get to survive. So we're more, working more and more for less and less. And that's evident. And it's a lot, a big, factor of this is those devices because now people are always on call they're not getting those doctor salaries but it's still on call like doctors and competing against one another because the more these devices come out the more they uh, allow for leverage and advantage to those consumers and as a result, they um, you know, I'm not going to use the word force, but um, it's like you might be a vegetarian, but maybe you're stuck in the woods and there's nothing but poisonous berries around you. Are you going to eat the rabbit to survive or are you going to say, no, I'll starve to death right here? So. People are, 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 are pushed, yeah? And, you know, to keep up, right, they have to adapt. And, and those that actually have thought about it and, and seen the implication, where this is going, and that this is not healthy, and it's also a breach of our contract between our creator, the one who made the sky infinite and gave birth through the womb. So it's forbidden, and yet nobody seems to recognize this as legitimate. You know, you can go in all the churches. Yeah, where, where, the, where, the, where's the, the talk? You know, who's, who's mentioning this? This is reality. Everyone's out here. They're using these devices. You look at the Old Testament. You see about the worshiping of idols. You know, you couldn't see. Here, they couldn't talk so maybe the preachers feel like these smartphones can see here and talk so maybe they feel like they're not idols maybe they feel like they're gods people become more and more dependent on these devices you have to store passwords passwords have to be changed the hackers the russians you know everybody's you know, you know coming for your stuff so who who would want to put their life into these gods knowing they're so vulnerable Crazy people, people that have been trained from early on that this is the way of the world. You can't blame the youth. They are utterly consumed. They have become captivated. And everything they see becomes what they think. And so those projections by somebody somewhere, and it ain't no ordinary people. All that wealth is, is going into this content. That's why I call content classification. Some call it input to output mapping or behavior modification. You watch where somebody goes on there. You see how their behavior changes. You, you, you make sequences numerically, uh, whatever they call them, algorithms, whatever, mathematical equations, so that that device projects whatever content will establish the ideal 
confirmation. And it's 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 very effective. And now you come to a point where everyone is so loose-lipped and they're just worshiping and serving the beast. Because when you fear something, you are worshiping it. And for example, people will be afraid to look at this report because they get, they know they're being watched. And so inside they're saying, you know, I could see this, but I might get in trouble. Uh, if people feel like they're being graded based on what they see, so they're gonna be looking at those things the Babylonians choose for them to see. We, we all, we, the beast, it, it, it may be, you know, yeah. Uh, you know, invisible to the naked eye, but it's a force. Yeah, so people realize, you know, that if they want to get ahead, they got to serve the beast. So they're going to know. The beast, the man, is watching what they're doing. And they're going to visit websites or conduct themselves accordingly so that they gain the man's favor. Because that's what humans have done throughout history. When you study the medieval ages and the kings and everything, I mean, sure, you had real people on the ground that were like, no, we'll die before we give our allegiance to them. Even the pilgrims. Now, the Mayfowl Compact is a fraud. We'll get into that. But, you know, these people left because they were being persecuted by the Church of England. Not because they were friends with the Church of England. Yeah, so, what is different? When you have uh, people today that are not willing to engage and what they know is only giving power to their enemies. And then you have those that are willing to, you know, slurp because they're suckers.